Alright boys, I didn't expect this, but somehow, some way, the Jack arc has just gotten better. Pickle, after like 160 plus chapters, all of Bucky Dow 2018, he has finally returned. This is what he currently looks like. The thickification of characters has continued. Our boy is looking beefy. With this being, I believe, the final chapter of Bucky Dow 2018, leading us into the creation of a new manga most likely. Don't know when that's going to be released or what it's going to be called. I'm hoping it's something to do with Jack, perhaps his martial art or maybe just Jack Dow or something like that. That would be pretty cool, but let's talk about all the stuff we got shown about Pickle this chapter. So first up, it's cool that his scars from his Masashi fight have remained, making his design look a lot more badass. We also get to see that Pickle has learned to tie up his hair, rocking that man bun, so you love to see it. Considering his size increase, Pickle being stronger is most likely the case, but how was he able to get this increase? Pretty much throughout this chapter, we see him taking various small animals to eat most likely, such as foxes and ducks. So rather than, you know, waiting for these giga crocodiles or, you know, dinosaur meat or this, you know, all the very strong fighters in the Buckyverse who are comparable to, like, dinosaurs, Pickle has most likely been mass eating these various creatures, being able to gain this size. So my man has definitely been on the grind. He also seems to be much happier now, which is pretty interesting. As if you think back to the Masashi arc, they had that whole weird, a little bit sussy exchange where Masashi's talking about how them two don't really belong in the current time and Pickle has just been spending his time like underground away from everyone. But now, once he sees a human, he just gives them a smile and continues doing his hunting. So Pickle, I guess, has kinda more so adapted to the current times and is pretty much living there, chilling, doing whatever he wants. We also cut back to Motobay, he's talking to Gaia still about all the Jack stuff. Where he brings up Pickle as well, and we get this panel of a side-by-side -side between current Pickle and current Jack. If this isn't foreshadowing for their rematch, I don't know what would be, but absolute peak. Jack already called out everyone else. There's only really three or so more characters that we all wanted Jack to fight. Jack vs Oliver would be pretty cool as something I've really wanted to see throughout the whole series. Especially considering both of them recently defeated Tsukune, Oliver defeated him after Jack, Baki defeated him after that. They've all defeated Tsukune, so that would be pretty cool. Honey Armor as a character who's been compared to Jack in various instances. Of course, there wasn't really a comparison during the Maximum Tournament. It was very clear that Jack was much stronger. During the Prisoner arc, Honey Armor had that high diff fight against Spec, but he was portrayed as someone quite strong. And then Jack pretty much destroyed Skorsky. So you could say Jack was more so the favorable one during that arc. But as the story progresses, Haniyama had that pushy match against Pickle, where it wasn't really a fight, but Pickle was shown to be quite impressive. Jack lost all his fights against Pickle, but did have some very impressive showings, even making Bucky at the middle of that arc believe Jack had actually surpassed him. Of course, that wasn't the case, as we saw when Bucky actually faced Pickle at the end of the arc. Then in the Musashi arc, Haniyama had one of the best performances against Musashi. Jack didn't even get the chance to fight him due to Motobay's interference. And if Jack did fight Musashi, I get the sense that he would have been alongside Retsu and one of the characters that would have died, considering Jack's fighting style and unwillingness to give up. Then if you look at the Sumo arc, Haniyama had the most clear victory against his Sumo opponent, and Jack defeated the big sumo boss in Tsukune. So if Jack was to fight Haniyama, that would be pretty cool. But the other one everyone's been waiting for has been, of course, Pickle. Jack vs Pickle may be my favorite fight in the series so far, or the first two instances of their fight. So the third clash between the two may be coming and I am absolutely excited. Before I continue, make sure you're subscribed for more Bucky content. Also check out this video where I explain the entire sumo arc in around 10 minutes. The 150 plus chapters prior to the release of this one all explained in great detail. Definitely one of my best videos. The editing is very fast paced. I definitely think you will enjoy it. But talking more about Pickle, considering how he seems to be quite chill now, not this wild animalistic beast. And you know, he smiles as well. Even though Jack is my favorite character in the whole series, I do enjoy Pickle, he's definitely in my top 5, 
and I may actually feel bad for him as Jack currently is honestly just a demon. He doesn't care how he fights and considering his new teeth, he's definitely going to take quite a few bites out of Pickle. Which may be actually sad to see. Of course, once Pickle gets injured to a certain degree, that's where he snaps and gets into serious mode. Unless the degree of injury is so great, Pickle starts to view his opponent as a wasp. That results in Pickle to actually hit legs, like we saw when Jack would have actually killed Pickle if he approached, or in his fight against Masashi, where Masashi was viewed as this creature, making Pickle actually hit legs. So I think it would be pretty interesting if we get the rematch between these two. Jack actually makes Pickle run away in a similar sense to what Masashi did. That would be pretty cool. But considering Pickle's size increase and probably the large amounts he's been able to eat, him improving and overall his natural talent seems to be off the charts using like Aiki and other various techniques unconsciously during his arc. Him getting stronger during the fight would most likely be the case and his power is probably off the charts. Also considering various people and me to some degree not as much as others have been disrespecting Pickle due to him not appearing in the series. Him being stronger and still remaining as you know one of the top 5 strongest characters in the whole series will most likely be the case. I don't think we're going to actually see Jack vs Pickle first, but considering this is I believe the last chapter of Bucky Dow, we're probably going to have to wait a while until the next manga actually begins. But ending the manga like this with the return of Pickle was absolute peak. I love to see it. I love his new design. Even though some people seem to hate how all characters are like much thicker now, I really like it. Yudro's gone from this to this. Doppo's gone from this to this. Some other characters have more so remained the same like Baki. Jack has very clearly gotten thicker and now once again a clear representation of growth for Pickle as well which is cool to see. It honestly really can't get better than this. We have the Pickle arc being adapted into the anime coming out at the end of next month. The start of the Pickle arc is really coming. Pickle returning to the Baki manga. All the greatness is going to come. Imagine if we got to see Jack vs Pickle in the manga when it comes out in the anime at the same time. So us can, you know, re-see those great fights and then see a rematch in the manga as it's actually coming out as well. That would probably be the most peak Bucky has ever been, but we'll have to wait and see. My prediction is still that Guy is going to be his first opponent due to all the mini setup we've already gotten. I don't know when the next chapter is coming out, but of course join the Discord for chapter links or if you want to know when translations come out. I'm working on a pickle video as this chapter actually came out, so perfect timing for me. Stay tuned for that. Of course, check out all the other stuff in the description if you haven't already. Shout out to these mad lads who support the channel via the Patreon. But that's it guys. Peace.